Good morning. I wanted to talk to you today about a concept that is absolutely essential for us to master as we are beginning to move into this higher ascension timeline, the new earth plane. And it is the concept that service to self needs to be equal to service to others. And we can look around and we can see people and go, ooh, they may have some difficulty with the service to others part. But the majority of people who are aware of what's taking place, who are on a path such as this, actually have the opposite issue. They have the problem of being very much service to others versus service to self. And what it is is that we're, we're stepping into this higher reality which demands an exchange. It demands an equal giving to others and giving to self. Because when you're giving to yourself as much as you're giving to others, you are therefore walking in your power. It's a respect issue for yourself, for your soul, so that you're not depleting all that you are. And why this is so difficult for us, not only is there conditioning that we've, you know, come from, um, whether it's religious or just the looking at, uh, you know, things that we were told even as children. But we've got lifetimes to where we were taught sacrifice. And that in order to obtain enlightenment or be on the spiritual path, you had to sacrifice everything, whether it was family, loved ones, you had to give it all up. And that is no longer the case. So now where we're entering into is this beautiful space of exchange. So when we look at that, I want you to take a moment and realize that inside your chest right now, you've got this beautiful golden bucket. This is one of the things that my team had taught me. How full is your bucket? This bucket is full of this gold and liquid. And if you're unable to see it, ask for a percentage. You may hear 75, you may hear, you know, 50, you may hear a lot less. And realize this bucket is your vitality, but what it contains is your health, your money, your love life, your relationships, your family, it contains your job or your lack of job. It contains your joy or your lack of joy. It is everything. There's no distinctions here. It's not like you can say, okay, that, that's not my bucket over there. Yes, it is. All of it is in your bucket. And at any moment, things happen. And they can pull from our bucket. We can have solar flares come in, or the Schumann resonance can go up. Or there can be, uh, you know, an event in a family that just whew, knocks you out. So we have to be aware of this bucket. How full are we keeping ourselves? Because when a bucket is at 100%, that means you've got an equal exchange going in, and believe it or not, an equal exchange going out. Because what my team had told me was when someone is completely service to self, everything is all about them and their own personal gain, their bucket is actually quite dry too. Because inside that is their fear, it's their, their worry that, you know, the doggy dog type world. That's in that bucket and it drains it all the time. But when somebody is coming from a place of being able to give and being able to receive, the bucket is able to stay full. It's able to sustain us. Some people consider it to be prana light. Maybe it is. But where are we losing it and where are we gaining it? And we have to look at that. Now, for all my, you know, energy workers and all these earth healers that are out there, I love you. Thank you so much for your service because there's a lot that's going on behind the scenes. There's a lot of times that we may go someplace and do some cleaning. There's times that we embed energy or codes into places. There's times that you, you know, maybe on social media and somebody's needing something and you literally send energy. Understand that is beautiful and valuable. It also takes from the bucket. And as long as you are giving to yourself as well, and that can, giving to yourself can be any number of things. It can be going and 
sitting outside and reading a book. It can be taking a nap. It can be ensuring that financially you're okay. All of these things go into the bucket. There is no lack here because there can't be as we move into these higher frequencies. It has to be the understanding of what I give, I also receive. And when you're not, there's not equal, equal exchange, you're coming from a place within of imbalance and that is not sustainable in the higher frequencies. And so, and I know how difficult it can get for particularly when people don't understand what it is that's taking place. They don't understand that when the Schumann resonance goes up, you may be flat out. And therefore, they may judge it. They may not understand that you spend a certain amount of time sending love and giving energy to the people of Earth. They don't understand that. And so, they don't know your bucket only you know your bucket and part of the task is to be very secure in yourself so that you can say no i'm not going to drain myself for you i need an exchange and there will be people who are not able to give you an exchange but you'll be able to get a greater exchange from someone else and that's okay too but it's your job to keep your bucket full it is your job to make sure that in the grand scheme of things, you are taking care of you. We are no longer in the sacrifice paradigm. That energy will not hold in the higher frequencies. We all play a part. We all must give and receive. And I know how difficult this is. And I know that there are people who will absolutely suck you dry. And those people, you just thank them for showing you and you go, okay, I'm glad to see it. And I can't allow you to do that to me because their role is helping you to step into your power. Just push them aside because they haven't figured it out yet. They haven't understood that there has to be an equal exchange. So I want you to take some moments and look and go, what fills my bucket? What empties my bucket? Who fills my bucket and who empties my bucket? And understand there can be some who one day whew, they're wiping you out and then the next day they're filling your bucket and that's beautiful and absolutely perfect. So it doesn't have to be that if you realize you're near somebody that they're, they're draining you, that it's whoop, cut you off, I can't have you in my life. That's not the case because look and see. Where do they then give when they have the opportunity? But if someone is consistently draining you and not giving back, there's some boundary issues there. And that's a lesson in itself. So I want all of you all to take care of you. Because while most of us are very much all about service to others, we also need to be aware of service to self. And my team has told me it is essential in these energies to make sure that it's equal. And that may mean that some who are all about service to others need to step up. Or it may mean that those who, you know, what I'm saying is about the service to others, step up and give back to yourself. It's essential to make sure that, because when you're full, you can give and give and give. Think of it as a gas tank. If you're always putting gas in, you can just keep driving for miles and miles and miles. But if you put gas in only once in a while and you're still driving because you know you got places to go, you have people to help, people to see, you're gonna be on empty. And your car is gonna be on the side of the road. And then you're not gonna be able to help anybody. So keep that in mind. It's essential in these energies. Lots of love to you all, and I'm grateful to all of you who are in service. We're starting to see changes more and more and more, and I, it's, it's amazing to me. Just take care of you as well. Thank you. Have a fantastic day.